I started uh, at, towards the end of my fighting, I realized it'd probably be good to have a day job, including fighting, just so I have consistent income in. So I usually work from home, but I, I don't have the patience to just work nonstop and I get bored. So I decided to just play some video games and it makes the workday go a lot faster. Especially here in Colorado, I'm alone. I might as well, you know, get me through the day. So it's been a good, like, three, four years. I've been playing like, a, lot, a lot of video games. I, I'll play nothing but sport games. I can't do, like, the Call of Duties and, you know, anything that's strategic other than sports. Uh, that's all I will play. And Madden, NBA 2K, I mean, FIFA. That's what we play, that's what we play nonstop. And my son loves the WWE video game. So I make sure I got that for him and we just... Basically set up matches non-stop and let them get entertained by watching those. Morning starts, I wake up, set my little coffee pot. Wake up, set, I start my computer, I work four hours a day. I play PlayStation for the whole time while I'm doing that. Pra uh, work ends, I hurry up, shower, get ready, eat some breakfast, head straight to the gym, work out a couple hours, come home, usually watch some TV, nap. And then uh, right back at it again. I love fighting as much as possible. And the fact that I was basically promised, you know, the two season fights and the three playoff fights, so five fights in one year in a matter of six months, I love, I hate not being able to fight. I got in the fight game so I could fight, not so I could just tell everyone I'm a fighter. So the fact that they're telling me, hey, you're gonna fight five times in a month, in uh, six months, I, I was sold. Just give me as many fights as possible. I'll fight every month if you, let me. To get some one-on-one -on -one training with head coach Mark Montoya, the guy's a genius. So uh, let's get that stand-up working on. You know, I've known Steve Seiler for a long time. He obviously is a vet in MMA. Um, he's he's he lives in Utah, and you know, Colorado, Utah aren't that far. So I've watched his career blossom into what it's become. Whether he was fighting in in the UFC, whether he was fighting in Titan, or now. You know, he's fighting in PFL. So I've known Siler for a long time. I actually um, was asked by Coach Hackleman back in the day when he had some stuff happen with a flight, could I, could I help corner Siler the day of weigh-ins? You know, and that was, I believe that was for a Titan card at, uh, back in the day. And I was like, of course, I'd love to help that kid. He's always been uh, fun to watch, an amazing kid to um, see perform. And, you know, Siler and I have always had a good relationship just as a, as a coach athlete. This is about fighting, but ultimately it's about these kids changing their lives and financially it helps, of course, uh, to go do that and then to prevail as a winner and additionally make a uh, million dollars, you're absolutely changing your life doing that. So um, that's, been, that's been our focus, whether it's for PFL or, or just a fight in general. But with Steve Seiler in mind, you know, he, he has an amazing family and, you know, he, he absolutely has provided for them. And he and his wife and children, they deserve uh, an opportunity like that. Hi. What, Baba? You just got bad service there, or what, baby? I got a wife who's working two jobs, you know, real estate, and you know, from home. Also taking care of both my kids by herself. Uh, you know, I'm being selfish, coming out here to focus more on my training. She has to do keep up the house while working the jobs, while taking care of the kids. And when it's all said and done, like, where do you, what do you, what do you want to do? Like, do you want to like coach? Do you want to open up a gym? Uh, something, uh, you know, my wife, especially during our hard times of fighting when things weren't going so good, uh, you know, she threw out to me lots of times like, hey, you need to do something. This fighting thing's not going to last forever. But, uh, you know, like I said, this year's going good, so it's, it's kind of hard to think about what I'm going to do afterwards when I'm and stay in the present and really, like, realize my potential right now if I'm thinking about doing something else. So right now, I'm only focused on fighting right now. And, you know, once I win this million dollars, you know, I'll have my wife help invest it because she does real estate. 
so like she could you know invest in some houses buy some houses that we could rent out hopefully get income doing that and you know everything just works out how it's supposed to so you know I maybe be a stay-at-home dad after I fight because my best thing my best thing is being around my kids I'm a I'm a kid myself so I, mean, I just want to be with them I want to be with my family that's why I'm sacrificing this whole year being in Colorado away from them all so I could make it work in the future